In North America, most snake species hatch or are born alive in late summer and fall, so your chances of encountering a snake increase at these times of year. You might encounter a snake while hiking in the woods, picking apples on a farm, or even raking leaves in your backyard. Snakes especially love areas with lots of rocks, fallen logs, brushy areas, and debris piles. If you're in a brushy or leaf-covered area, wearing sturdy boots and watching where you place your hands can help protect you from an accidental encounter with a snake. It's also a good idea to keep your pets on a leash during your hikes at this time of year to help lessen their chances of an encounter with a hidden snake. If you do encounter a snake, leave it alone. Snakes are not aggressive towards humans. However, if they feel threatened, they will defend themselves and may bite, just like many other frightened animals. So again, if you see a snake, just leave it alone. The best thing to do is to give the snake a wide berth and stay at least six feet away from the snake as you walk away or around it. Don't bother it, and chances are it will not bother you. Here are some facts to keep in mind if you encounter a baby or adult snake this fall. Snake moms in North America do not guard or protect their eggs or their babies. So if you see a baby snake or find some snake eggs, it is unlikely that the mom snake is anywhere nearby waiting to defend her eggs or babies. There are a few species of snakes in other parts of the world that do guard their eggs, including the king cobra in Asia. But we don't have any of those here. Baby snakes often have a different color or pattern from the adult snakes. For example, the eastern black rat snake, which is black as an adult, is often confused with the copperhead as a baby due to its tan and gray colors and its diamond pattern. Remember, many harmless snakes have bright colors and patterns, and many venomous snakes are cryptically colored, so you can't generalize a snake being venomous or not based on its bright colors or patterns. Baby venomous snakes are not any more venomous than they will be as adults. Venomous snakes use their poison to catch and safely subdue their prey before they eat. Adult venomous snakes can control their venom glands and will often not inject any venom when biting to defend themselves. Snake scientists believe that baby venomous snakes may not have as great control over when and how much venom to inject. Snakes get ready to hibernate as the temperatures drop in the fall. During the fall, snakes are especially active on days when the temperature is in the 70s. As the temperature drops, they become less active. At temperatures below 50 degrees, you are not likely to see any snakes. Baby snakes and adults go underground in rocky crevices, caves, and under leaf litter and compost to survive the cold winter. However, on a sunny day in winter, when the temperature reaches the 60s or above, you might be lucky enough to see a snake catching a quick ray of sun before slithering back into his cozy winter den. So this fall, keep your eyes peeled and you may catch a glimpse of one of these beautiful creatures.